Hey everybody, uh, Handyman Kevin here. Uh, what you have here in front of you is uh, my uh, Porter Cable 350 round head nailer, a uh, framing nail. Um, I uh, bought this used um, and uh, and I didn't do a lot of framing projects, but uh, when I do around the house or building something, I, uh, I use this gun. I like it, it's reliable. Um, it's got a very lightweight housing, so it's very, it's very light and so, uh, like I said, been reliable. Um, so I was building a shed in January, um, excuse me, December in New Jersey. It was probably about 20 degrees out. So probably not the best time to be doing framing work, but it was on a little bit of a time crunch and um, I wanted to get this project done. Um, so here's the nails. So it was shooting nails, I shot about 30 or 40 nails. And then I noticed that the, uh, the pin was firing and hitting the wood, but it was not picking up a nail. I thought maybe the nails were hung up in the magazine. There was a problem with the magazine. I did take the, the nails out, make sure the magazine was clear and good to go, and it was. So I did a little research and found out that the, a, a, a problem that can happen with these guns is uh, the bumper stop can actually get, uh, get damaged and it needs to be replaced. I wasn't sure that was the problem, but I decided to take the back of the gun apart where most of the, um, the mechanisms are. Um, I was just hope I was just grateful that it wasn't the piston uh, assembly because that's about 140 bucks and if that goes you might as well just buy a new brand new gun uh, as opposed to buying a part for 140 dollars but um, uh, so I took the, the back of the gun off here and there's four bolts that hold on there's the Allen heads this is my first uh, first YouTube video so I hope I'm doing a good job um, but for the speed of the video I already took these off and uh, I'm gonna take the back of this housing off for a second here um, and there's there's a plastic piece that actually goes on here that you'll have to pull off too. Um, when I opened the gun, I found these guys. Let's move my bolts out of the way here. This. I said, what the heck is this? These eight to ten pieces. Those eight to ten pieces were actually this at one point. This is a bumper stop. It was in the back of the gun. Um, so this, these plastic pieces uh, are all in here. So uh, good news and bad news. The good news is this gun is, um, this, this piece here is readily available. You can order it. I think I ordered it on ereplacementparts.com. Uh, the bad news is 30 bucks, folks. 30 bucks for this piece of plastic. The other bad piece of bad news is it doesn't break into 8 or 10 pieces as shown here. It actually just destroys itself and shatters into about, I don't know, 8,000 pieces. So if you look in the gun, you'll see all kinds of debris in there. And this is the shaft, the piston shaft here, that uh, that that cylinder uh, cylinder shaft where the piston goes up and down. So that has to be super clean, can't be any debris. You see all the plastic on the walls there. And if I do it right with the light here, you can actually see some more plastic on the walls very minute particles, that all has to be cleaned out. I go to the back of the gun and show you that. Um, over here, if I take this piece out, there's a spring that goes in here. Um, you'll notice the spring's got plastic on it. This piece I pulled out, all kinds of plastic in there. There's an O-ring that needs to be set. And then in here, a screwdriver this is all plastic gook in here there's lots of little pieces and of course it has oil on it so it's all clumped together so the bad news as I mentioned 30 bucks and then this all has to be cleaned it has to be cleaned thoroughly if you leave any plastic in here these small plastic pieces it can clog any of the ports or it can damage o-rings so if it actually damages the o-rings they won't seal properly and um, uh, your gun will not fire properly. Uh, the good news is I heard after you, when you run into this problem with these guns, if you do replace this piece, uh, that uh, after you're done, you put your gun back together properly, the gun acts, you know, works pretty much like brand new. Uh, I do suggest as you are um, uh, pulling your, your, your gun apart or anything apart, you always take pictures of your iPhone as you pull it apart uh, so you can make sure uh, you can put it back in the proper order. I also find helpful that if I download from the internet um, the pieces here, uh, excuse me, the exploded diagram, 
I can figure out how the parts go uh, together back in the proper order and in the proper direction. So in the case of the bumper stop here, I can even determine which way it goes. Does it go this way or this way? The diagram shows it would actually go in this, this direction. So uh, I can make sure I install it properly. Just one word of caution when you're downloading your diagram or ordering parts, make sure that you order for the proper make and model. Um, so I, I mentioned this is a Porter Cable 350. This is a very common gun. Uh, this is a round head framing nailer. There's clipped head framing nailers. And then and then in both those categories, there's both uh, type 1, type 2. It might even be a type 3. So this is a, a, a round head framing nailer type 2. So make sure you order the right parts uh, for your gun. Okay. So <clears throat> I mentioned my first YouTube video. Trying to do a good job here. So my next video, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and have this all pulled apart, all the pieces laid out, and I'll show you how it goes back together. I will have cleaned the gun between videos because I don't think I need to make a video of just cleaning like that garbage out of there. But uh, that's a key thing. Make sure it's clean. Uh, thank you for watching my video and uh, watch my second video uh, on how to put this thing back together. And then we'll do some uh, uh, test afterwards to see how she operates. Thank you for watching.